Hey everybody, a few days back something horrible happened. Um, I nearly lost my fingers. I'm not even exaggerating, this is true story. I was actually just setting up for recording something. <laughs> Maybe that would have been perfect timing to have that on film, but I didn't capture it. So I'm just sitting and uh, preparing for the video and uh, at that very moment, instead of typing something on the keyboard, I was scrolling on the screen with the, with the mouse. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, what saved me. <laughs> uh, I legit could have lost or at least had these fingers broken if I was in the middle of typing something up. So let me show you the aftermath of what happened. So we got this uh, B15 Gen 2 with some mis missing keys on the keyboard, as you can tell. And uh, the video today is not gonna be like a traditional data recovery video that uh, I post on this channel, but rather something that I would have found helpful if I came across it during my search. So, um, as, I was as, as I was working on the mouse right here, out of nowhere, this thing, from the top just drops straight down onto here I don't know how I don't know why but this is this printer it's barely overhanging on this shelf that I made you can see there's like plenty of space for it like I'm pushed I'm pulling down on it and it's not going anywhere I don't know how it was pushed out so far but for some reason it just fell right from from the top down onto the keyboard if my fingers were in place it would have just like I don't know it would not be pretty that type of height and sharp edges who knows what could have happened at least a broken finger maybe uh, so <laughs> uh, obviously the, the 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 keyboard is now destroyed but the beautiful thing about this is that this machine doesn't even have any additional scratches. Some keys, like in the total, I think one, two, three, four keys went flying. One of them I didn't even find. I found three, but I couldn't find one. It went to uh, uh, ninth dimension, as Alex would have said. Um, so it's basically um, something that I had to put up with for uh, several days until uh, the new one came in and uh, today what we're going to tackle is a replacement of this fresh keyboard and uh, taking the old one out I've looked at several videos online but I did not find any like a step-by-step -step process and I didn't want to kind of start unscrewing things up and trying to get to the bottom of it do a complete tear down I just want the keyboard to be replaced at some point, guys, I think I remember when it just came in, I was going over uh, all of these different compartments because this thing can be loaded with like four SSDs. So on the back, we got our cable. So I got my Ethernet, power, and the monitor cable for the big screen. Close this down, flip it upside down. On the back here, there are some, some panels that we can not some panels, there's one panel that gives you access to a partial RAM and extra SSDs you can install. So I have two extra SSDs that I put in there. So we'll just undo this one screw and this whole cover comes out. There's the, uh, there are the SSDs. Um, the keyboard is being held by a number of these screws. I don't know exactly which ones they are, and no video had shown me specifically which ones need to be removed. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen up all of these screws. I just love the novel screws that they don't have to come out, they retain in their position, so you will never get a wrong screw in the wrong hole sort of thing. I'm gonna undo these ones, this one, this one, 
This one is undone, I think. No, it's not undone yet. This one. This one. Maybe not all of them have to be unscrewed, but it's just because we don't have to take them out. It's going to be very easy to put them back in. So now I go flip it upside down. And there we have it. There's the keyboard. So what you want to do when you're taking it out, so you want to push it away from you like this so that the upper keys go up against the plastic cover and they just lift from here and pull it towards you there are two cable straps here you undo them and the keyboard comes out this is where you can install a stubby version of uh, NVMe SSD and another system SSD is in there also the RAM is in there so we got our replacement it's a genuine Lenovo keyboard that was shipped in reconnect the both cables oh yeah I forgot to, to, to tell you what I was getting mis misled with. So if you got a, a P15 Gen 2, you don't have to lift up these keys. There are no screws underneath them, as you can see. This is what's holding down. We can reference it after. So there's one screw that's holding uh, the keyboard here, one here, and one there. So in total, three screws are holding it down. When we flip this thing upside down, we'll know for sure which one's to undo. So as it went in, it has to go back as it, as it came out it has to go back in the same way so you slide it in make sure it's all lined up something is in the way okay there we got it so now it's in the gap at the top is good the spacing at the bottom is also good you can close this up flip it upside down and now you're just gonna go over all the screws and tighten them down right so just one two, three, four, five, six. You see, we only needed to do three and I'm on like eight now. It's tight. That's tight, that's tight. Everything else is in. Hard drive solid state cover goes in. Tighten it up. Nice and secure. Now we flip it upside down. Connect everything back to it. And look at this, all new keyboard. Lights up and starts. I'm hoping you guys are gonna find this video useful uh, for replacing a keyboard on uh, Lenovo ThinkPad P15 Gen 2. There are no screws underneath these two buttons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode.